welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be starting a new DIY project for the uh, the Overland trailer, and uh, we're going to be attempting to build a 270 degree awning. This awning is going to be mounting to the side of the trailer on driver's side, and uh, it's going to be in encased in a bag you unzip the bag and this thing's going to fold out all the way on the driver's side all the way to the, on the back side of the trailer uh, kind of like this picture right here all right so i recently saw this video on youtube of this guy making uh these awnings and uh, his name is uh, Overland Under Budget. So if you get a chance, you can go check out his his videos on YouTube. He's got some really detailed videos uh, on how to build these. And uh, mine probably won't be quite as detailed as his. Uh, we'll be moving kind of quickly on this. Um, I'm not going to make too many shows on it. Um, I'm hoping to get it in two episodes. So, uh, what we got here is some one inch square tubing. That's going to, we're going to make our arms out of that. The arms are going to be almost eight foot. I'm going to cut them eight foot. We may have to cut them back a little bit, but we're going to start at eight. And we got some one inch pipe here. And also, we got some bearings and and some plate steel for other things to make for the brackets and, and the pivot arms. So, uh, yeah, should be interesting. Never made an awning before. Um, so hopefully we can get the, uh, get the arms made today and uh, maybe get the uh, bracket made. And uh, maybe next, next video we can put the tarp on top of it so all right guys let's get it all right guys we're gonna go ahead and mark these out um, these are 24 foot pieces should be able to get uh, three eight foot pieces out of it All right, guys, so now we're gonna use the pipe to connect the, the two, uh, two pieces of tubing, the trusses back at the hinge part. And we're gonna cut uh, either four or five inches pieces. And uh, what I got here is some little bitty one inch uh, bearings. Now these bearings have a a uh, flange on them, so they fit perfectly in the uh, end of this pipe, and they won't they won't slide in too far because that little flange will hold them in there. So uh, we'll have one of these. Oh, get out of there. We'll have one of these at the top and one at the bottom then we'll have a bolt initially going through through that and the uh, bracket that we'll be making um, this will make it with a, it'll make it swing a lot easier instead of just having a, a bolt with a bushing uh, so it'll give it a little a little smooth swing there um, so yeah, that's we're gonna have three of those. So I need to cut three pieces of pipe. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece of uh, thread off so we can have just straight pipe without uh, the threads on it. So we'll cut that off first, then we'll cut three five-inch pieces. All right, guys, that is a view through my welding helmet and I cracked it.
so got a new one coming be here tomorrow but that one is toast um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on prepping everything getting things ready and I'm gonna go ahead and tack start tacking stuff together without the helmet I'll just shut my eyes and tack it then I'll come back and weld them so let's get it all right we're gonna go ahead and tack this one on this will be the bottom support brace Very good at welding with my eyes shut. Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the second day of the project. Um, got my new helmet in yesterday or today. Uh, it'll work, I think. We'll find out here shortly. Um, hitting Amazon, great. Order something and you get it the next day don't even have to leave the house anyway um all right guys i'm gonna get this thing started here and uh so we're gonna start welding all these up that i tacked up yesterday so let's get at it Kind of what I've drawn out. All right, guys, let's get started on this bracket here. Here's what I kind of drawn out. So this piece in the back here, um, I can probably cut this off here. So I'm gonna have one arm here, one arm here, one arm here, and uh, so this arm here is gonna be pivoting back to the back of the back corner opposite corner of the trailer so if the trailer was here um, this one's going to be going back to that corner um, this guy here I think it will be going back to this corner over here and then this one going to this corner All right, guys, battery died. Um, not sure where it left off. But uh, here's the bracket. All we got to do now is uh, just make everything fit. Um, this one here already fits pretty nicely in there. And... Uh, and uh, so I just need to make, uh, grind the other ones down so they'll fit.
There's a little bit taken off of them. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this evening. Join me tomorrow and we'll continue on with the uh, with the build. Well, hey guys, welcome back. We are on the next day here. Um, I went ahead and took the liberty of going ahead and saving all the boring time of cutting out some plate here for the brackets for the trailer that the awning will mount to. Uh, today's objective is to get the brackets welded up, painted, and um, and get this bracket and the arms mounted today. So we'll see how far we get. hey guys back at the trailer with the brackets um, so this is to be the bracket that the the actual hinge part it will mount on this side of this bracket um, the only issues I see here is we're going to have to slide this out enough to get enough room where we can get this cover on and off because it's going to be running lengthwise with the trailer here um so i'm going to scoot it out past the tent a little bit so uh, it's probably going to be real tight even with the bracket on there but i don't know how else to do it so um so anyway i'm going to get a measurement here so can i get all these the exact same guys we're going ahead and we're going to screw this bracket to this bracket this will be the one housing the uh the uh whatchamacallit awning pivots All right, now the arms, I'm going to position those in there and try to mark them because my problem is, here's the bolts I got for it. It's the only thing I could find that was long enough in uh, the uh, ones that fit the bearings, which were 10 millimeter. Um, so we're just going to cut these off after we get the length. But uh, I could not... Uh, My problem is getting these lined up top and bottom without it being all wally locked. So I am uh, I'm going to stick the arms in there where I think they need to be positioned and hold them up with the uh, with the uh, poles that we got for the ends. Level them. I'm going to mark them. Then using a piece of scrap pipe and a bearing, I'm going to see if I can mark the center hole of them and uh get the uh get the center so we'll see how that works all right all right guys so we got one in there this will be the far back corner um i'm going to go ahead we got it level with that pole that she's holding um so now we just need to uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark where that pipe is on this end I'm going to mark it here 
Then we'll get a small piece of pipe, put the bearing in it. I'll see if I can get the a center hole there where this is somewhat straight here. So we'll do all three. All right, guys. We got the we got the center of the bearings marked on the top and bottom plate. And now I'm just going to I got this right angle drill. I made a got a little short bit put in here. And uh so now I'm just gonna go through and drill these holes. Alright guys, now we're just gonna go back and just start stepping it up to till we get to the size that we want right, guys so we're going to go ahead and put the bearings in and let's see if we can get this guy in here there we go So when I go back over there, like that. Uh-huh. Get another one. Right. Ready for the second one? And the last one. Hopefully it goes. Well hey guys, that's gonna be it for this week. Join us next week for part two when we finish up the cover on the awning. I'll show you how to cut and install it. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell. And you'll get a notification next week when I put the part two video out. So see you then.